Using jam. Two pots, two jams. But the sleight of hand this time is that both pots contain both jams because they're double ended. When a volunteer is asked to confirm their choice, they'll be tasting the wrong jam. I like the blue one better. I like this one a little better. It's less obviously sweet. This this one was a little seemed a little stronger, which is nice. Can you taste the oranges more. I thought they both had a nice rich taste. I like the whole berries, and it blended well with the plastic spoon a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we have black currant here. Black currant, okay. And we have black raspberry here. Oh. And you okay. you, you prefer the, the raspberry? Raspberry. But when you tasted it the second time. It was the black curry. Mm -hmm. I had exchanged those. Oh, really? You didn't notice that? I didn't notice. I couldn't tell the difference. We were quite surprised, and especially today, because we used sort of solid tastes, which they should be able to categorize, like blackcurrant and raspberry. So that is a bit surprising that I don't just identify what it is and then remember that taste. You didn't feel that the second taste was different? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Thank you very much. Okay. So are we just a bunch of lying, self-deluded people? <laughs> no, we're not. I mean, this is an interesting task and a sort of everyday kind of decision. But it's not a life or death thing. You, 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 no one will kill you if you don't detect that you've got the wrong jam. The texture felt it. Yeah, I was noticing the texture too because because I didn't notice, I didn't notice the, the taste. taste. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. But it's still interesting to see where this effect ends, and we don't know that really yet.